want to talk about how to wire a 3S GE Beams Gen 5 engine out of a Toyota Altezza or a Lexus LS200. Here's the ECU. This connector and this connector, leave them alone. They go to the loom of the motor. You don't need to touch them whatsoever. This connector, you don't need it. It's for the auto. This connector, you don't need it to run. The last connector, the connector D. Look, look what's in my hand. All these wires, they're not connected, right? There is only three wires here that you need. Now the clip is at the top of the plug. I'm going to call that top, right? Far right bottom row, black wire, red trace. Go across by one and then across by one, two and up by into the second row and put 12 volts on that. They may as well be soldered together like that, okay? And on the top row, on the far left, the black wire with the yellow, if you follow it down here, it ends up earthed here on me motor, right? Black and yellow. The only other thing we had to do was cut open the loom up here by the coil and find all the black and red. See this big junction here? It's just full of a, a big squash terminal. Put 12 volts on the black and reds. And the last thing we needed to do was find the wire that led to the one side of each fuel injector and put 12 volts on that. It's this wire here. It's black with a white on it. And it, you can follow it through. It goes to every injector. I know this looks honky-dory, but look at this. This goes to our battery. This brings our 12 volts down to us. And if we crank this motor over right now, yep. We have spark, and when we put a screwdriver on the EFI, we have, uh, that's working too. But you know what happened to us? When we hooked it all up, the spark wouldn't stop. It was just going brrrr, brrrr. Every time the battery terminal on, it just was going brrrr. While we took the ECU and we tapped it like this with it and and the and the, the erratic firing stopped we thought that's so strange well we took the side off the ecu and there was water droplets in there from my roof leaking on it so the moment we took it put it in the sun dried it out put it back on the car one one spark per revolution's just everything's just perfect so big victory nice time father and son working on it and you know, when you get your wiring done, it's just like, ah, oh, that's one of the big things out of the way. We're not finished, but we're a long way to the point where we can start now.